We have become a microwave generation. That's crazy. Listen, I challenge you. I invite you to come out of that type of mind state. Okay? Now, you may ask yourself, what is a microwave generation? You know, he's talking about climbing inside the microwave and turning it on and putting it on two minutes. No, I ain't getting in no microwave. No, that's not what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Listen, we will prefer the microwave instead of the oven. Listen, God's best for you. God got it in the oven. He's cooking it. He's marinating it. You see what I'm saying? In other words, God has to prepare you for what he has prepared for you. You understand? Because, listen, you might not be ready for that pizza that's in the oven. You know, it's still probably, um, you know, doughy. You can't eat that dough. Man, that stuff will make your stomach hurt. You might have to go to the hospital. You see what I'm saying? So you have to trust God's timing. You see what I'm saying? People, they want to put things in the microwave. They want a quick fix. In other words, they might pray. I'm looking for the answer right now. You know, like, God, I just prayed. Like, you know, where's that? You know, but listen, God has everything that you already need. It's already planned. Your steps are already ordered. But you have to trust God's timing. Because guess what? If you trust God, you have to also trust his timing. All right? You can't just say, I trust God, but I don't trust his timing. In other words, that's like saying, you know, you trust me, but you don't trust my arm. You see what I'm saying? I mean, come on. Now, we come together. I mean, you can't, you know, love me and, and say, I don't love the right arm. Like, come on now. What, what you got against my right arm? You know what I'm saying? You got to learn to love. You gotta, if you love me, you love me. So if you love God, you love his word. You love his word that gives you correction and instruction. You love his timing. You love his sacrifice. You love every single thing about him. You understand? So it all comes as a complete package and you accept it. God's timing is perfect. That thing, in other words, if you want to cook two slices of bread, let, let's say my hands are two slices of bread. You may just want to throw it in that toaster for 30 seconds. You hit the button. Boop. And you know it. It don't really come out too good in the toaster. It's always burning. But listen, when the Lord puts the, the two pieces of bread in the oven, it may take 15 minutes. But you got to learn. You have to learn the skill to be still. Humble yourself and wait on God's timing. If God said it, he'll bring it to pass. So you, you chill the skill to be still. You learn more about him in the process while waiting. Because listen, God has to prepare you for what he has prepared for you. Some things you're not ready for right at this second. All right? So you prepare yourself in the midst. And guess what? Whenever he brings that thing out of the oven, it's going to be better than just two pieces of bread. You might mess around and have 20 pieces of bread. You might have butter all on them with strawberries on the side, with uh, pineapples and watermelon, you know, chicken tenders. You got shrimp all around the bread. You're like, where all this stuff come from? Because, listen, God has the best for you. God wants better for you than you want for yourself. You don't know what you want. People sit back, oh, I, need, I want it. You don't really know what you want. Listen, you see somebody in the mall. They try, let's say they about to buy some jeans. They in there stressing out, sweating. I, these too big, a size 36 is too big, a size 34 is too small. They don't have a size 35. I look chubby in these. You know, this don't do this. I don't know. You know, the sale ends at 5 o'clock. It's 450. Should I buy them? I don't like either one. People, man, you, you don't know what you want. <laughs> you don't know what you want. So why not trust God? Now, I'm not just, I'm just using that as an analogy. I'm not, we ain't talking about no jeans trying on a size 36. I'm just trying to paint a picture for you. The things that you pray for, listen, God's will for you is better than you know. It will come to pass. So I challenge you, whatever you, whatever you're expecting God for, whatever's in God's will, whatever God is going to bring into your life, it's in the oven right now. Oh, that thing just marinating. You know, it got a little juices on it. Got some Italian dressing on the side of it. But the question then becomes, will you wait on it? Or will you settle just for a little shortcut that's going to do you wrong? If you believe God like you say you do, guess what? You're going to trust in his timing because it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. I love you. Thank you for checking out another video. Listen, this video helped you out. Be sure to hit the share button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I got daily videos coming for you each and every day, 5 o'clock a.m. That means whenever you wake up, guess what? A brand new video is going to be waiting on you, all right? I love you. I appreciate you watching daily. I really do, all right? I will talk to you tomorrow morning. Yeah.